hi guys in this video i will show you how to take inputs from a user and perform some actions on it okay whenever you are uh, asking user to enter something you need to specify user what he has to enter so more like a label okay so we will be using three components uh, defined by ionic framework so one is ionic item item is more like some item you are going to display on the app uh, more like a paragraph or maybe an image or maybe a number or anything so within an item uh, you will be specifying a label which which tells the user to what he has to enter let's say enter something or anything okay so then we'll be using ion input to provide a way for user to enter something okay let's just save it and see what will it look like okay so now we have here user can enter anything so so this label there are different uh, types of label one of the type is floating see when user clicks on the input it just goes up and another one is fixed There are different types of labels. Uh, if you go to the documentation, uh, you can see here. Okay, where is the label? You can play with all of them. Okay, one is floating. We already see this. Uh, this is a stacked label uh, on a fixed label. You can play with all of them you want I'll just put floating uh, you can use placeholder instead of label also I'll just show you that placeholder is uh, is easy to specify user what he has to enter and it uh, it disappears when user enters something okay enter something see if i click on it uh, it just goes up uh, let me just remove this floating level for better understanding Okay, just taking some time. See, uh, when I click on this, it just stays here. This label stays here. But whereas if I click here, it is disappearing. That's the difference between label and a placeholder. Okay, so so if you wanna restrict the user to single type of data more like only numbers or or email you can specify it using type argument so if you want only numbers you can specify type as a number okay if you go to the documentation you can see there are different types here number email and a password
see uh, right now we set the type to number so when user click on the button it only displays numbers so if you put the type to password so when user clicks something see it is going to dot it is disappearing as a password so what we will do now is uh, let's just put a type to password and display the value on the bottom let's just uh, put a, another ion item here so you enter will be displaying something here okay so for that we need to access the data from HTML to TypeScript okay and from TypeScript uh, we can, I can assign a variable back to HTML for that we will be using data binding so I will be using ng model to bind the data from HTML to TypeScript. Let me just call it as a user input. This is a variable. We use this variable to get the data from HTML to TypeScript. Let me just put a user input here. I will just don't specify anything. Okay. So here I defined a variable named as a user input and I am using the same variable here to get the data ok to display that value here I will be using double curly braces to specify it that it is a typescript variable ok so now if I type something here oh I didn't save this thing if I type something here now see it 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 is here disappears and but it is here showing this is known as two way data binding now let me just uh, add another button so if you don't know how to attach a button and attach a click event to it uh, please uh, watch my previous videos So what I want to do is uh, whenever user clicks a button I will I will add something to it like uh, I will add a number 2 to it and I will display it as a alert ok add 2 sorry add 2 so I need to define this function in a TypeScript So I'll just put an alert. Uh, so whenever I'm using a variable here, see, well, the declaration you don't need this keyword, but everywhere else you need to use this dot keyword. Okay, you, you need to remember it. So I'll be adding two to it. So if I enter D and if I press add 2 it is coming as D2. Ok let me enter something else something a number. Ok if I add 2 if I put it 2 it is coming as 22 whereas it should be coming as 4 right. So if you wanna do something like this uh, like that so you will be 
restricting the user to enter only number okay then okay now user only enters numbers again it will only show 22 why because so whenever user enters something uh, the data we are accessing by default is a string i need to parse the integer from a string and add to it add to to it so to parse it i will be using parsing function okay now you should display 2 plus 2 as a 4 see now we are voting thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to my channel